Kilo. Uh, rotary dial saves typically use a mechanical combination lock. They are valued for their simplicity, reliability and resistance to tampering, making them a popular choice for securing valuable, valuables and sensitive items. This time I will present you a very unusual and original way to, for a door lock system where the password is entered using the rotary encoder in a way similar to above mentioned saves with a certain combination of turning left and right. The source code uh, was given in a post on the Arduino CC forum without any more detailed explanations and, schemat and schematic diagrams so I decided to build the complete project and check the functionality. I also made a minor modification and improved the functionality by adding buzzer for the audio presentation of the number of encoder moves. The device is relatively simple to make and consists of several components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, rotary encoder with push, push button, uh, next 5V solenoid, you can notice that I'm using 12 volt solenoid, which works perfectly fine on 5 volts. Next, BD 238 uh, or similar medium power PNP transistor, uh, button, free LEDs, active buzzer, and few resistors. First, let me briefly explain the way of work. When turning on the device, the green, the green power LED is activated, which indicates that the device is active. After 15 seconds of inactivity, the diode turns off uh, and the device is now in the standby position. By pressing the button of the rotary encoder, the lock, lock is activated again. The unlock code is entered by turning the rotary encoder to the left and right a certain number of steps. The number of entered steps is, uh, uh, is attached visually to the yellow LED and to the buzzer in the form of short beeps. When the correct password is entered, the button from the rotary encoder is pressed and the solenoid is activated. And at the same time the red LED lights up, which indicates that the door is open. After a certain time of several seconds, which is defined in the code, the solenoid solen is de deactivated again. The default password is entered. Uh, the default password entered in the code is two two one, two right, two left, and one one right. But we can change it as described later in the video. To reset the default password, we need to hold down the reset button and turn on the device. When setting a new password, you can vary the number of tumblers as well as the range of valid numbers. As is, with 5 tumblers and 40 possible numbers, there are over 100 million possible combinations. Let me mention let me mention that the first number of the combination must be turned clockwise and each succeeded number alternates direction. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Uh, when turning on the device, a green LED lights up and we can enter the password. First I use the default password which is 221, 2 right, 2 left, 1 right. After a few seconds, the solenoid returns to its original state. Two right, two left, one right. And door is open. Next, to enter a new password, press the button while the red LED is on and the green LED starts flashing. First we need to enter old password, 221. Now press the button, green red flashing, and now we need to put new password, in our case 111. 
one right, one left, and one right again. Press the button, and again enter new password. One right, one left, one right. So the new password now is set it. Let's try to open the door with new password. This is wrong password. Again wrong password. One right, one left, one right. And door is open. So one right, one left, one right. To reset password, we need to press the reset button while powering on the the trezor. And finally a short conclusion, this is a very original, effective and interesting example of a safe lock which is almost identical to the large factory safes and thanks to the use of a microcontroller is very simple to make. For the sake of simplicity the device is mounted in an, in an open box that represents only the front panel of the safe.